Hi, welcome to the White Noise Studio. In this episode, we're gonna talk about snare drum reamping. Snare drum reamping is the re recording of the snare's sound of a snare drum. Uh, we're gonna show you how to do it and how it sounds in a drum mix. So this episode we're gonna talk about snare drum reamping, uh, the re-recording of the snares of a snare drum. There can be a few reasons why you want to do this. Uh, for instance, um, you're working on a mix and you really need more snare sound and it is not happening in the mix for whatever reason. Or you get tracks sent by an artist or a band which did not include a bottom snare drum microphone and you really need it. it could be a few of the reasons. Uh, the actual reamping is done by sending a snare drum sound, which was already recorded, through a speaker, uh, which then triggers the snares of a snare drum. Uh, we'll go to the live room and I will show you how it's actually working. I've already made a little setup. I put a speaker on the floor and made sure the top is flat, so it's more easy to position the snare drum on top of the speaker. I've also flipped the snare drum upside down because I only want to record the snares of a snare drum. Um, there's already a sound coming from the control room to the speaker and if I increase the volume of the speaker you will see it trigger the snares. So the sound is triggering the snares, and if you record that, that's called the snare drum reamping. Um, let's see how it sounds in a drum track and go back to the control room. I loaded the project in Cubase, which has a rock drum kit and a free jazz drum kit. Uh, let's start out with the rock drum kit, and it sounds like this. A straightforward rock groove. Um, the actual reamping goes like this. Uh, I duplicate the original snare drum track to a new track, and on that one I insert a uh, external effects plugin in Cubase. Uh, such a plugin uh, sends audio to a hardware unit and returns it into Cubase. Um, in this case, it's the Cubase sends the audio to a monitor in the control room with the snare drum on it. Um, but I don't use the return. I use an extra audio track to record the reamped uh, signal because I want to have it in every mix I do and not having to reamp the snare drum every time I do a mix. It's much more easier like that. Okay, and the reamped snare sounds like this. It's uh, pretty terrible at this point. Uh, that is because the original snare has a resonance in it. Uh, listen. So that resonance makes the snare, the reamp snare, resonate a lot more than it should be. Uh, what I do in this case is I gate the original snare, so the signal which goes to the monitor. I have Fab Filter Pro G doing it, and now it sounds like this. Much shorter, much tidier, it will fit the mix much better. Um, so the original snare and the reamp snare together sound like this. Without reamping. Together. And in a mix, it will sound like this. Let me record a bit. What I notice is 
that the reamped snare sounds a tiny bit different than the original snare. So what I also do in this case is actually I tune the reamped snare just a bit to make sure the resonance uh, uh, and the, the, the sound of the snare matches the original snare a bit better. It's not perfect yet, but you get the idea. It sounds a bit better now. So, um, it sounds like this now. This is the original drums with the reamp snare. Without the reamp snare. Um, the reamp snare is not really uh, necessary in this groove, but it is a really nice to to bring out the snare's sound uh, in a kit if you want to. Uh, it makes it sound a bit more poppy uh, instead of uh, raw rock in this case. Um, let's go to the free jazz drum kit. Uh, it's this one. Unmute everything like this. Mute, mute. Take the latter half half of the free jazz. Okay, the free jazz drum kit. Uh, this actual performance is done by Andrew Lyle, uh, which is an excerpt of the uh, session Codeon Trio did at my studio for a white noise session and a album recording. Uh, Andrew gave uh, kindly gave permission to use his uh, drums for this. He's actually a really really good uh, drummer from London. If you have a chance to check him out, you should absolutely do it. I will put um, the links to the album and the white noise session down below. In the, in the description of this video so you can check it out okay free jazz drums um, sounds like this so as you can hear it's really dynamic uh, so it makes it an excellent case to check out the reamping uh, the snare in solo original snare sounds like this And I did the exactly the same as with the rock drum grid. I duplicated the track uh, and inserted a reamp. Um, the gate is still on. I will turn it off right now, like this. And let's check out the reamped snare. I think I will actually turn down the gain a little bit. As you can see, uh, when I play with the, vo with the signal going to the monitor, which triggers the snare, I can actually uh, adjust the way the snare uh, reacts to the signal. It's, it's really good. Something like this, I think that will work. Okay, so this is the reamp snare. This is with the original snare. Original snare, reamped. Okay, the entire drum kit. I'll record now. Since it's in a loop, I will just take this part like that. So this is the reamped snare. Rachel snare. Doesn't sound like it needs much of, uh, uh, of, of tuning, so I leave it like that. So, together, all together. Reamped snare off. Reamped snare on. Little bit of balancing. The 
really adds to the jazziness and the vibe of this track, uh, especially since this is such a dynamic way of uh, uh, playing. The reamp really works well. It really sounds like a bottom snare. With a sample, it would sound artificial, and this sounds absolutely 100% natural. So that was snare reamping. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will answer them as uh, quickly as possible. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and I see you next time. Bye.